Hey guys, I want to talk a little bit about posture and uh, neck pain. So I had a relatively old client come here today with some pretty bad issues, but one of them was neck pain, right? And, uh, it's funny because she told me that she felt her scapula were up and her shoulders were up by her ears. Okay, but in reality, her scapula was downwardly rotated and depressed. So how is this possible? When I looked at her, it looked like her trap muscle was huge. Because she was down here. And when you rest the scapula too low, the trap will appear, not be, but appear huge. But it's not. It is absolutely not. Okay. So this is how she was standing. The scapula was retracted, anteriorly tilted and depressed. So it was winging and she had a massive hinge at the lower cervical. And I told her, well, we have to raise your shoulders. <laughs> and she didn't like that because, oh, but I have my shoulders too high already. No, she didn't. So what did we do? Well, we pulled the back of the neck up to the roof so she had a long spine. We tucked the neck, gen the chin, sorry, gently to activate the deep neck flexors. And we gently elevated and upwardly rotated the scapula. So the funny thing is that now she didn't feel that the shoulders were up by her ears anymore even though they were in fact higher than before, okay? So, so of course she didn't feel very comfortable because she's used to be like this. But we will all get used to new habits if you practice them. So I told her to practice it, work hard on it, and she will feel better. Uh, the point here is that we should not just take what we see as granted. Do a thorough investigation. The superior angle of the scapula should be in line with the T2 spinous process. Just measure it. Don't just take it as granted, measure it. If the trap appears big, it's tight, whatever, don't just go to release it. See if it's being inhibited by their posture. If you train or you release the trap, it will never matter if their posture is disconnecting it or using it in a dysfunctional way. So the muscle function, oh wow, we are having some thunder here. <laughs> the muscle function will follow the skeletal uh, structure, okay? So it, we want the posture and muscular, muscular work be it strengthening or release or whatever to cooperate we don't want it to oppose if she keeps standing like this and i will strengthen her trap it, it won't work because those oppose each other we want our posture and the functions that are uh, that we want to to occur to go hand in hand so i hope this makes sense to you i think it's a very important topic i think there are many myths out there about posture that are confusing many people so if you have any comments please leave them down below and i will talk to you soon